Hi everybody, it's Bob Harper here. How are you? Uh, trainer on, uh, or I'm actually the host of The Biggest Loser. I was a trainer on the show. Now uh, I've also been a trainer for over 20 years. I just teamed up with Planet Fitness because in these very strange times, you can't go for a workout, but what you can do is do a work in. And that's exactly what we are gonna be doing with you today here in my house. So, is all about extreme balance, coordination, tied in with aerobic activity. So, you're gonna work on your balance, your coordination, while still getting a fat burning workout, and hopefully, you're gonna have a lot of fun. So if you post this video or take some pictures, make sure that you use the hashtag United We Move. So, are you ready to get started? Are you? Don't be scared. Don't be worried. Do as much as you can. We're gonna have fun. Uh, it's 20 minutes out of your day, and I hope that uh, I can make you smile and put some sweat on that forehead. So let's get started. All right, so first thing I want you to do, just stand, feet together, chest up nice and tall. Take a big deep breath, inhale, reach your arms all the way up to the ceiling. And exhale, big deep breath, keep going all the way up, inhale, reach all the way up and exhale. Think about slow controlled movement. Again, reach all the way up and exhale. We're gonna do this two more times way up, reach, core strength is strong, legs are strong, glutes are activated. This last time you're gonna hold it all the way up on the top. This time I want you to clasp all of your fingers, release your index finger, point it to the ceiling, reach as high as you can, and now take your body over to the right. What I want you to think about doing is lifting the body up as if there was a fence on one side of your body that you're trying to reach over. So it's not about how deep you can go, it's about how high you can lift. We're just warming up your spine right now. Quads are activated, glutes are real strong, core, it's like someone's gonna come and punch you in the stomach. Hold real tight, hold it here just for a few more seconds. Drive that left hip over to the left side of your room. Lock out your elbows and now reach straight up to the ceiling. We're gonna do the other side. Now reach up and over. You're lifting. This movement is called a half moon pose. So what I want you to really think about is putting your body in this half moon pose. Think about that outside foot pressing down into your mat. Squeeze those glutes, uh, uh, squeeze your hamstrings and your glutes and your quads and keep your chest up nice and tall. Hold it here just for a few more seconds. Hold it and come straight up exactly where they are and their arms where they are. Drop your head back, lift your chest up, and take your arms back towards your ears. Now, a lot of people think it's a back stretch. This is really opening up your chest. So just stay right here. Good, keep the body weight in the heels, in the heels. That's right, stay right there just a few more seconds. And forward looking straight at me, abs and strong. If you need to bend your knees, go ahead and bend them. Take your arms forward and all the way down to the floor. Just hold this stretch. Okay, so now you're in your first forward bend, right? When you're in this position, I want you to keep your abs engaged. The whole time today, abs stay engaged. Every part of your body. This is like a like an open eye meditation. I want you to be breathing. I want you to be I want you to be focused. I want you to be aware of every single movement that you do. Now, come all the way up. Arms with the head. Slowly drop the arms down to your side. Now open your feet just about six inches apart, keeping your toes pointed forward. Reach your arms forward and now leave your arms there as you sink down into a chair position. Body weight is into your heels. Good. Abs in strong as you pull your chest up. Hold it. Hold it right there. Nice. Just a few more seconds. You got it. You look real good. Stay there. Keep. Keeping your arms where they are, extend up, your toes, and sink down into a squat. Chris in New Jersey, how you doing, buddy? Hold here, sink down. So glad you're working out with me right now. So you're trying to stay up on those heels as much as you can. That's why I wanted you barefoot. Don't need any shoes, socks, need nothing for this workout. I want you to go ahead and straighten the legs. 
drop the heel down, go into that first position, back into the squat. Keep that squat there. Arms are getting tired, right? I would imagine your arms are tired. Yes. Arms are here. Reach. I know your arms are going to get a break. Stay with me. Okay. And straighten the legs. Go back up onto the toes real high like you got a pair of stilettos or platforms on. And then go into that squat one more time. Every single part of your body and your mind are having to work right now to keep you up in this position. Just two more seconds. One and up. Drop the heels. Relax the arm, and we're gonna get that heart rate up. From here, as if you have a real jump rope, let's go into a simulated jump rope. When you're doing this simulated jump rope, if it gets to be too much, if you can't, you feel like you can't lift that body up or your uh, knees are hurting, all you need to do is keep those arms going and you can go into a side to side motion. But if you feel good, I want you to keep this motion here. Heart rate is starting to get elevated. I'm gonna keep you here in this simulated jump rope for about 10 more seconds, and then you will immediately go into just basic jumping jack. We're gonna go in three, two, one, jumping jacks. Good. So Jacob in Hawaii, how you doing? Get those jumping jacks going. I want you to keep your abs engaged, abs strong. I'm going to say that so many times it's going to drive you crazy. It's going to turn into like some drinking game or something. <laughs> Whenever he says it, drink. But make sure it's water. Okay. All right. So five more seconds. Four, three, two, and stop. Breathing here. You're going to go into your first balancing pose. From here, you're going to lift your right foot up. Hold your right foot up. Now, this could be all you do right now, and that's great. As long as you are giving me your full effort, that's all I care about. If you want to go to the next level from here, you're going to round your back, keeping the abs pulled in, and I want you to go as you're trying to grab the foot. Stay here. And again, if this is all you got, then this is all you got. But if you want to go to the next level, grab the foot, hold here, and if you want to go all the way into it, you can clasp all of your um, fingers together underneath the foot so it's like a basket holding that foot but the key right now is to breathe second key is to keep that standing leg strong you are balancing i'm keeping you here just for five four three two and one release the foot stand up and we're gonna do the exact same thing on the other side lift the foot up hold here you want to go further round go for that foot and hold. So Carla, how you doing? How's Dallas doing? Uh, in this position, I want you to keep that leg strong, abs engaged. Every part of your body's having to work right now, Carla. Stay with me. Anthony's struggling. He's doing good. Just five more seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Release the foot. Go right into jumping jacks. Nice and easy. So. I want to see how well you work under pressure. Heart rate goes up with these movements, and then we go into something very specific that you have to get engaged. You have to think. You have to keep yourself going. Good. Stay right there. 10, 9, 8, 7. Michelle, how's Pennsylvania? Keep those jumping jacks going. We're about to go into that next movement. Get ready, Michelle. Three, two, and one, stop. From here, we're gonna go to the second position. So now, I want you to take your right arm out to the side, drop it down, don't turn your wrist, just lift your foot up and grab onto the inside of the ankle. Point the toe, bring your knees all the way together. If you're new to this, this could be really difficult and you could be dropping that foot, keep lifting it. Even if it looks like this with you right now at home, that's fine, as long as you're trying. Now, if you wanna to go to the next level, reach that arm up. Hold here as you then go into that standing bow pose. A key here is to really push the top of your foot into your hand to hold that position. And if you fall out like Anthony did, just come right back. Stay right there. Hold that position. Remember how I've said every part of the body has to work. Down from the feet all the way up to those fingers. Stay in this position. Go a little deeper, Anthony. You got this. 
for 8765-4321 release. Do the exact same thing on the other side. Left arm, drop, grab, reach, and lengthen. Lengthen, hold that all the while you're breathing. Heart rate should be up. Hey, Leanne, you'll be breathing when you do this. And in Portland. I love Portland. Portland is so cool. Stay right there. And five, four, three, two, one, release. I want you to go right into speed skate. So take your body from side to side. If you've got a yoga mat, try to jump over that mat. If you cannot jump, just step from side to side, but try to get those arms moving. Good, big jump. Get your heart rate up. Yes, sir. Good. <laughs> so now it's all about inner outer thighs, abs stay engaged, jumping from side to side. Stay right with this movement. You got it? You're looking good. Stay with me. I want you here for just about 15 more seconds. That's it. Just 15 more seconds. Patty, Miss California. Stay with me on those speed skates. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now, just step to the back of the mat. Take your arms all the way up. Reach. I want you to step your right foot forward. We're going to do a T-stand. So you're just going to step forward and drop down. If this is too much, you can take your arms out to the side, make it a little bit easier. But if you have your arms forward, I want you to imagine that I'm pulling your arms forward and somebody else is pulling your foot back. Just holding here for just a few more seconds. Hold, trying to drop that hip, that left hip down toward the mat and stand up tall. Keep those arms up, keep them up. Step the left foot forward and drop into the T-stand. Stay right there, hold it. Beautiful. Stay engaged, stay alert. Can't let your mind wander. Your mind wanders, you fall out of it. And step back, step back. Good job, that was good. Release the arm, release the arm. Good, from here I want you to do a burpee but with no push up, watch him. As he puts his hands down, jumps back and stands up. Keep going. If this is too much with the jumping back and forth, watch how he, the next time he goes, he's gonna step back, step back Anthony, step back, back and stand up, do it again. Step back, back. Up, up, one more time just with that. Keep going. Now, if that's too much, just reach down for the toes, stand up, and build from, okay? But if you've got those burpees, do them, last set, go. That heart rate jacked up right here. Good, just about 10 more seconds. Melissa. Get ready. In West Virginia, I'm gonna make you work that balance, girl. Get ready. Stand up tall, everybody. Melissa, stand up. Breathe, breathe. Now, I call it a starfish. From here, what I want you to do is I want you to take your right leg and reach it out to the side and hold here. Arms out to the side, point that toe, and now reach the arms up and take your body out to the side. Hold that position. Oh, so this left leg is rock solid. That Those toes are pointed, reef, body long and lean, long and lean. Hold here for just a few more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Slowly come out of it. Yes. And let's do the other side. Left foot, reach out, hold. Put your arms up yet. Now lift your arms, breathe. Hey, Ray in Toronto, how's your balance? Are you being challenged? Are you being humbled? Are you like, I can do this all day, all day. Point that toe, hold. Five, four, three, two, reach that leg up a little higher and release burpees, let's go. Remember, I don't want the chest to go down. These are no push-up burpees right now. 
Jump back, forward, jump back, forward. So, we did that T-stand, we did that starfish, one of the last, the last thing we're going to do as we stand up is we're going to combine those two movements. You only got about five more seconds here. Four, three, two, and one. Stand up tall. Okay. This is going to be your biggest challenge for balance and coordination. I want you to take the right foot forward. Hold here. And now I want you to extend the leg out to the side. Reach your arms up. This is going to be your trickiest part. If you fall, it's okay. Just come back and try it again. Let's go to that T-stand. You ready, Anthony? Go. T-stand. Reach. Abs are engaged. Stay here. Five, four, three, two, and one. Stand up. Release the arms down. Did you do the whole thing? That's great. Let's do the other side. Lift that left foot. Hold. And like open that leg out. Reach. Hold. Stand. Take it. Take that T-stand. Stay right there. Pull the abs in a little more. Five, four, three, two, one. Stand up. Just a few seconds of just straight, full on squat. All I want you to do is touch, touch, touch the ground, touch the ground. Touch, that's it. Still breathing. And if you want, try taking both hands down to the ground. Both hands down to the ground. Now listen up. You're going to, when I say, you're going to jump back into a plank position. It happens in four, three, two, and hands to the ground, jump into plank. Hold that plank. Stay right there. If you need to be on your knees, be on your knees. That's cool. Stay right in this position. And from here, just touch your left hand to right shoulder and switch and switch. Keep going. Feet stay exactly where they are in that plank position. And from here, hold it down, go onto your knees. So now you're in this tabletop position. From the tabletop, I want you to extend your right leg back. Extend the right leg. Reach your left arm forward. Extend. Remember how we were doing T-stand? I was like saying pulling the arms in one direction, pulling the legs in the other direction. That's the same feeling that I want you to get right here. Abs, engage, strong, reach, hold. Make sure that your head is in neutral. Don't look up. Don't look down. That's why I talk a lot. I talk a lot so you can just listen and not have to see. Stay here for a few more seconds. Those hips are in line like there's a pole running through your hip and release. Let's do the exact same thing on the other side. Lift the left leg as the right arm goes up. The key to this is don't make it a hip stretch. That's why I say it's like a hip, it's like a bar driving through your hips to keep them in line with one another. You don't want that hip to like pull up. Like what was that? Like a fire hydrant? That's what uh, they call that move sometimes. Fire hydrant's good, but I don't want you to do that. I want you to stay here, reaching. And release, go back up into plank, hold. Hold. Now I'm lifting my head up because I'm trying to talk to you and look at you. Don't do that. Look down at the floor. You can't see, but one of my dogs is right at my face right now. It's hilarious. Stay here. Five more seconds. Four, three. And release. And release it up. Sylvia. How you doing, honey? Good. Everything good in Georgia? Everything's always good in Georgia. Peach tree, everything. Peach tree in Georgia. Okay, so now all I want you to do, sit up tall. We're going to open up your spine. Uh, uh, just open up your lower back. Lift up your chest. Just hold this position. You did great today. And remember, 
Here is No Judgment Zone. It's all about you just feeling good, feeling good, moving your body around, not having to worry about what the other person's doing. It's just all about you. Look forward, sit down, keep your abs engaged real strong as you sit up nice and tall. Just spending these, what, 20 minutes to just get a little sweat, work on your balance, work on your coordination. I mean, it's so important for your body and your mind. Drop your right ear to your right shoulder, chin down to your chest, and left ear. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Debbie in Tampa. Debbie in Tampa. Ah, what's the weather? Is it humid already? Sit up nice or sit up nice and tall. All right, last thing I want you to do, and you're gonna be done today. I want you to stay right here. We're gonna finish with the breathing that we did in the beginning, but instead of reaching of standing up, I want you to stay on your knees. Take a deep breath, inhale up. Exhale. Inhale all the way up. Keep going and just sit onto your heels. Inhale up. Exhale. Last time, I want you to reach up and hold the arms up. Reach up, hold, palms together. Bring your palms to your chest. Relax your arms down. Just sit. Just give me, just give me 10 seconds to just sit peacefully. Breathing, relaxing, and you're done. You are done with that workout. I'm so proud of you. I'm so glad you did it. And think about this. You can revisit this workout in all the Planet Fitness uh, social channels. And the previous work ins are there anytime you want. And get this. Planet Fitness has a free app that gives you so many great workouts. So take advantage. This is your time. This is your time to take care of yourself. Please do it. And Planet Fitness is giving you all these outlets. And remember, tune in tomorrow and every day at 7 p.m. Eastern time for another brand new work in. And guess what? It's live, y'all. It's live. Say bye, Anthony.